Hey everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this video, we are going to talk about container queries of CSS. When working with component, we tend to add a different variations and change them either based on the CSS class or the viewport size. For that, we can use media query of CSS. But media query works only with device viewport. Let me show you a very simple example. Here in this example on the left side, we have the sidebar and the article component. And I'm going to have the same article component in the main area of this website. We have the same styling and the UI to both these components. But now, if I increase the viewport, you can notice the main area component behave differently. Notice that the main area component version is too larger. For me, this doesn't look good for the UI perspective. With container queries, we can simply write a CSS that responds to the parent or you can say a container web instead of the viewport. Let me show you we can solve this problem with media query first and then we're going to work with the container query. So I'm going to open the VS Code and here is the application. Here we have the simple index.html file, layout.css and style.css file. Inside the layout.css, we have all the default styling of this page. And inside this index.html, here I'm going to put the header, the main section of this website and the footer. Inside the main section, we're going to have the sidebar and the main content area. Inside the sidebar, we have the article component and I'm going to have the same component inside the main area as well. Now, let me open the style.css file and here I'm just going to select this main element and then I'm going to specify display grid and divide this component into two columns using this grid template column. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the media query to solve this problem. We call add media and then you specify the minimum width. The minimum width is going to be 1300 pixel and inside this i'm going to select the card and to this card i'm going to specify all the css properties which i want to apply to this component when the minimum viewport is 1300 pixel and i'm going to do the same for the image as well so i'm going to copy and paste the css styling of the image now let me save the changes and show you the result now when i save the changes and reload the browser i'm going to have the result something like this now if i increase the viewport this is going to change the UI of this component and I'm going to have my finished component as a response. This card component is going to apply all this styling when the viewport is greater than 1300 pixel. If the viewport is greater than 1300 pixel, we're going to have this styling. But you will notice we have the same component in the sidebar as well. What I want, I want to use vertical card in the sidebar and horizontal card in the main area. So let me show you how you can solve this problem with container queries. So let me comment this media query. And at the top, we're going to add a container. With container queries, we can simply write a CSS that responds to the parent, or you can say a parent container width. So I'm going to first select the container class, this one. So inside the style.css, here I'm going to say container. And to this container, I'm going to specify a CSS property called container type. And we're going to have three values to this container type property. First is size. Now, when you specify size to this container type, the query will be based on the inline and block dimensions of the container. If you specify inline size, then the query will be based on the inline dimension of the container. And you also can specify normal value. Using normal, you, you can specify this is not a query container. Right now, we are using value here, size. Just out of that, right down here. When the viewport is greater than 1300 pixel, you apply all this styling, right? We can do the same thing with container as well. So we call here at container and then specify a parenthesis. And inside this, I'm going to say minimum width colon and then specify the minimum width of the container. Keep in mind, we are not here specifying the width of the viewport. We are going to specify the width of the container, the size of this container, this division tag. So now if this division tag is more than 600 pixel, then I'm going to execute this block. And inside this block, I'm going to call this styling, this one. So now this styling is going to apply to this division tag only when the width of this division tag is greater than 600 pixel. Now you might have multiple containers inside your CSS file. So you can also specify name to your container. To specify name to your container, you specify here container hyphen name and here you specify the name to this container 
I'm going to choose name car and you have to just specify this car name to this container. So just out of this container, you specify car. So using this name, you can define your container. Now let me save the changes and show you the result. Back to the project and you can see we're going to have the result what we want. We're going to have the sidebar component and the main component. When I decrease the viewport, look, this is what we want. We have the component, what we want. So this will solve the problem. Container queries allows us to look at the container size and apply style to the content based on the size of their container rather than the viewport. So instead of so instead of the viewport, when the size of the container is more than 600 pixel, you can see when the size of this container is more than 600 pixel, we are going to apply all these classes to this container class. I hope you understand how to work with container in CSS. If you want to learn more about containers, then let me know in the comment section. I will make a complete website with container queries. If you find anything useful, make sure to press the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe for more latest videos. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.